Greetings viewers and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the K-Line Technologies model CP-06 Plus pedal power supply. Now for full disclosure, K-Line Technologies did send this power supply to me free of charge and the, the asked me to look at a few of their other pedal power supplies, not this one in particular to review, but I wanted to include this in my reviews as well because I think it's actually a pretty unique power supply in the fact that it is a battery powered pedal power supply. A quick unboxing, you get the power supply brick itself. You get the wall adapter, which is nine volts at one amp. This is for charging the power supply's internal battery. And that comes uh, in these two boxes here. And then finally you get another box here with all the different wires to your pedals and the instructions. Now the instructions are very brief as I've mentioned in my other videos, but this is the main features that are in this power supply. First thing I did when I got it was to charge it up. The wall adapter here that they give you is nine volts. It takes about four hours to charge up completely. It didn't take that long. It, was, it already had some power in it. This light will be red when it is charging and then it will turn green when it is done. And then the switch here is actually the switch to turn on the power supply. I apologize ahead of time for how bright these can be. The red ones, two red lights means that it is 100%. One red light is 50% left of, uh, in the battery. And then when these red lights are off, that means you have about 30% of the battery life left, which means that you'll probably have to go and charge it up very soon. But apparently at full load with all the outputs running, you're supposed to get about five hours of playtime, which is great because if you don't have access to wall power, that's more than enough for your average gig these days. Now the switch here that turns the lights on also turns on the outputs here and this has to be on in order for it to operate. It's a little annoying if you consider how bright these lights actually are, but at least you can see them at night. These blue lights in the event of a short circuit will actually go out and it will indicate to you that that section is shorted out. You're gonna have to address that problem. And with these lights on and the switch on, it will also turn on this USB, which is really cool to charge up your phone. I'll be brief on the teardown. I actually took this apart off camera just to look inside and there really isn't too much to see. The lipo, lipo battery or the lithium polymer battery inside does take up the entire top half of the case here and then the rest of the electronics on the PCB are below it. I don't think this is an 8,000 milliamp hour battery as they claim on their website. It's far smaller than an 8,000 milliamp hour, it's probably more closer to 4,000. It's about half the size. That's still a decent size of battery bank to use on this particular application. So even if it's 4,000 in reality, that's still very good. You're supposed to get about four to five hours of playtime with all these outputs at full load and your USB uh, charging up to two amps. But it's fairly heavy for its size. And now to keep in mind, each of these outputs here it says isolated dc 9 volt outputs these are isolated in the sense that they have a voltage linear voltage regulator for each output so if you short out one it's not going to affect the others but they do share a common ground plane in this particular topology design but being that it's battery powered that's not really that big of a deal it's usually more of an issue when you have incoming wall power and the wall power is being directly sent to the linear voltage regulators without any kind of filtering or transformer isolation. That's what you see in a lot of their other pedal designs, but for a battery power design, uh, that's not a big deal at all. Just know that you have some separation with the voltage regulation on each output, so that's good. To sum up my final thoughts on this power supply, I think it's a good power supply. It's got some decent features, but there are other options on the market. This power supply probably doesn't sell very well for K-Line because one, I can't find it on Amazon here in the United States. I can find it on eBay and AliExpress, but I would have to import it from either K-Line directly or from one of their dealers overseas. And I'm not going to go out of my way to do that. There are other options locally available under the name Joyo, for example, which 
K-Line may actually make, they just put the Joyo name on it, that has a similar power supply with a 4,000 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery inside, which is likely the size of this one. And it's just got a couple extra outputs and features. It works just the same as this particular power supply. For my international viewers that watch my channel, thank you very much for watching. And if you have access or are looking to buy a pedal power supply that's battery powered, this would definitely be a good choice. I just can't really recommend it here in the United States since it's not readily available. As always, guys, if there's any questions or if there's anything I missed, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks so much again for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.